Alright guys, so welcome back. We've got the Razor Core finally working after so, uh, I guess not a lot of work, but more work than it should have been to get it working. Um, we've got Dark Souls 3 up and running right now. Looking around. This is just at 1080, pulling in 56, close to 60 frames most of the time. Doesn't really dip lower than that. This is at max. We can go through, go into the settings, <coughs> keep it on max. Jump to 2048 by 1152. Still running pretty solid, you know, right around 50, 48. I think I just saw a pop up, so it does dip. It's definitely playable though, especially if you're coming from a console. I've got it for everything right now PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Definitely like playing it just like this so much better. Such better quality, even though this is only a 12 and a half inch screen versus, you know, 50 inch that we've got in the living room. Well, that we used to have in the living room. And then we'll jump right up to 4K. You guys can get that. And this is where, like I've said before, it takes a massive hit. You drop down to it'll right around mid 20s at max. But that detail is just phenomenal. If you're willing to take the hit and you don't have an external monitor, I guarantee with an external 4K, this would be a lot smoother. <clears throat> um, this is really the only game that I've got to show you guys. Um, I do have a couple numbers for other games. Uh, so, the other games that we had were Ark, um, obviously the open beta or early access, whatever Steam calls that nowadays. Um, and we ran that with the 970, did not get the chance to run it with the 980. Um, the 970, there were no difference in resolution. Um, we had it set all the way up to epic and we were getting anywhere from 17 to 24 frames. <clears throat> I'm sure the 980 would be just a little bit higher than that. I'm not sure why frame rate didn't change much depending on the resolution. Um, it just didn't. I don't know if it's because it's not an optimized game. Um, we also had, what, Grand Theft Auto 5 on the 970 and the 980. The differences were fairly minimal. Um, we ran through the GTA 5 benchmark at 1080. We were getting uh, pretty close to constant 60 frames at max settings with the 970 and the 980. Um, granted, the 980 didn't dip down as low as the 970 did. I think the 970 dipped down to, uh, I want to say, closer to 45 frames. Um, the 980 actually stayed above 50. Um, jumping up to 2K, there weren't really any differences um, between the 970 and the 980s, 1080p versions. Um, and then as soon as we jumped it up to 4K, uh, it crashed the system just completely stopped halfway through the benchmark. Everything shut down. <coughs> um, that was actually pretty funny. My friend started freaking out. Thought I broke his uh, girlfriend's 970. Um, but, uh, yeah, we were getting just around 30 frames per second. Not exactly, you know, PC playable standards, but again, consoles, you might be all right with it. Um, again, external monitor, I guarantee you're going to see a good jump. Um, I really wish I had my friends over here this weekend, although it's only a 1080p monitor. Um, I guarantee you that we could show the difference in performance just in the 1080, uh, the 1080p resolution. Um, Civ 5, I don't know if any of you guys care about that. Uh, 
slightly more CPU intensive than Dark Souls, um, but it pretty much locked at 30 most of the time. Uh, if you were at 4K, if you were at 2K or 1080, you'd see 60 pretty easily on the Razorblade Stealth and Core 970 or 980. Um, trying to think what other other games we had. Oh, Arma 3. Um, obviously, max settings for that as well. Um, everything went smoothly in 1080 and 2K. Uh, 1080, you were seeing some solid 60 frames on the 970 and the 980. And then as soon as we bumped up to 2K, the 970 started falling a little short in Arma 3. Um, the 980 held up a little bit better, keeping you above 50 frames. Uh, again, just like GTA 5. Um, and then as soon as we went to 4K, trying to do max settings, um, the 980 was the only thing that could keep you above 30 frames. The 970 was falling closer to 20, 18 frames. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all the games that we, well, that I really wanted to play. Um, I couldn't get Dirt 3 running. It doesn't run on Windows 10 anymore, I guess. It's a common problem. I'm not sure if there's a fix. I haven't found it, and I don't really care. It was a free game. Uh, Grid, I don't know if any of you guys play that. Very, very low, I guess, intense properties for that game. Um, was able to play 4K, and Fraps was counting in. Oh, I want to say just around 85 frames per second on the GTX 980. Did not run the 970 on that test. Um, at 1080, it was getting close to 200 frames. Um, 2K, obviously, doing great right around 130, 140. Um, I don't really have any other games to show you. I mean, I can show you guys Grid. Don't know if you guys even really care. Um, if you do, go ahead, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Uh, it's just an update on this, and hopefully getting a 1080 here in a week or two, and maybe a monitor to go with all of this. So, it's just a quick look around. We got my little saber tooth, the core, a can of Mountain Dew Pitch Black, Razor Leviathan bar back here, Razor Blade Stealth on its stand, and uh, just a custom play mat if you guys want to check that out. It is from Dark Souls. I did trace this. I didn't. I don't have that great of skills. Did trace that from the Dark Souls series. Uh, it's a great mouse mat. I don't have my mouse right now. My roommate's borrowing it because he rage broke his. Happens. Um, yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see anything else. Um, and I'll try and keep you guys posted. Have a good one.